Megan Codsworth from Fallout 4. First, we sort out the three default and add supports where needed. This particular design needed a lot of repairs and tweaks before it was suitable for my printer. We set the resin printer off, making the body parts of Codsworth. This took around seven hours and a few parts needed reprinting. This was due to a few adjustments needing to be made. While we were printing the body of Codsworth, we set the extrusion 3D printer off on the base. This is because the base of the resin printer was not big enough for the base itself. And only the extrusion 3D printer had a print bed big enough for this project. First part of the print was completed printing. Next, it needed to be washed to remove any of the excess liquid resin and also cured under UV light. Here we are UV curing a few of the parts of Codsworth. This design is articulated, which means there are a lot of connecting parts. Codsworth has over 30 individual parts, so it took a decent amount of time to sort everything out. It's like a giant 3D jigsaw puzzle that you make yourself with no instructions on how to build or create it. This part is Cotsworth's head, the largest part of the model excluding the stand. I love watching the curing process. At this point, I had a lot printed, washed and cured. And then I realized that I only had one set of legs and eye stocks, when I needed three. As I mentioned, there are no instructions, so it's a learning process. So I found the parts I needed and also printed, washed and cured them too. I finally gathered everything together to start putting our Codsworth together. We needed to remove the parts from the supports. I did have some trouble keeping my hands centered in the screen in future. For this, I apologize. Let me tell you about Codsworth. He waited over 200 years for his owner to come back home. Codsworth is a good home helper robot. He waited that long. I had to create him as part of my collection. Codsworth is a domestic model Mr. Handy. Served the Soul Survivor's family in Sanctuary Hills before the Great War. The family acquired him shortly before October 23, 2077, as indicated by the Mr. Handy box found in their laundry room. Unfortunately, Codsworth was not allowed entry into Vault 111, despite the claims made by the vault -Tec representative. When the war erupted and was broadcast on television, Codsworth remained behind. Remarkably, after 210 years of wandering around Sanctuary Hills, Codsworth reunites with the sole survivor, steadfastly loyal to his original owner. His enduring dedication is a testament to the bond forged before. The world changed forever. Sadly, I didn't manage to capture all the building, as my camera ran out of storage. No matter what, considering the time that Codsworth waited for us, this was worth the wait, and certainly worth the time and effort put into making him. Finally, Codsworth is complete. He will be painted in the near future too. Thanks for watching.